my favorite brother-in-law. Oh, he's so handsome. <laughs> you guys plastic wrapped our bed. How are you so cute all the time? Do you have your little baby? Super long time. Yeah. We need that. We need this, guys. We need this. Let it snow. Let it snow. Alexa, it's snowing right now. See, she's not smart. EB, you want to help Daddy? Daddy got Merry Christmas stickers Merry from Christmas the Orgles. Merry Christmas from the Orgles. Stick them on these. These are for our neighbors, okay? Good job, Ander. You guys getting cold yet? Yep, really cold. Like you found a hat? My beanie. Your beanie. All right, good job, guys. Give me buns. Let you have one for yourself. <laughs> Time for Christmas shopping! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that noise. Okay, let's go. All right, I have a little treat for Roberta. We've been talking a lot about Spain and what kind of stuff they have, and it sounds like the thing you miss the most around Christmas time is the hamon, right? Christmas time all the year. All the year. She wants some hamon, and so I've been searching online, and I think I found a store that might have hamon. So we are at this store called Liberty Heights Brush, and let's see if they really have the hamon that I saw on the internet. Is that it? Yes. Yes or no? I think we found hamon. We need some hamon. $30 a pound. Roberta! <laughs> Probably somewhere between 45 and 50 slices. You want 50 slices of hamon work? How much would that entire one be? How many pounds is that? This whole leg? About nine pounds. So it's like $300. <laughs> okay, we won't take the whole thing. Let's get one pound. Can we sample a piece? Of course. Oh my gosh, look at all of these cheeses. <gasps> I'm going to be frequenting this place. Oh my goodness, these olives. Okay, here we go. You tell me if it's right. It's good. It's way good. Does it taste like it does in Spain? Mm -hmm. Or is it better in Spain? I wonder if you think this one will be better then. Should we get this one? Spain has the best hamon in the world. It's true, and we have the best snow in the world. Yeah, I keep saying that. <laughs> four years cured? This is like four year old meat? Okay. Okay, Roberto, what one should we try first? You tell me. This um, one or this one? The black one. This one? What? Oh, this one. <laughs> I like the one in the store, but I thought, mm, it's all right. Okay, Roberta, here we go. It's good. Definitely different. I like the other one better. Here you You try. like the other one better? This is much better. You like it? Mm -hmm. It tastes moldy to me. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it just tastes like old meat to me. Really? They said it, they cure it for four years. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like moldy meat. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay, update. It's actually really good. <laughs> the first taste tasted moldy, and then I kind of got the flavor in my mouth, and like, it kind of makes you crave more. It's kind of salty, and then like, I stopped eating it, and then I wanted more. It's like hot <laughs> Cheetos, where you like have to keep eating it, and now it's getting really yummy. It's definitely an acquired taste, I think, but it's like, I think it's cool because Roberta's just like, this is like school for me every day, like this is my lunch. But to me, it's like such a new flavor. I've never tasted anything like it before. Why are you crying? His hands on the set. Is that a spoiler alert? <laughs> no, that's like the old movie. Like in real life, he's dead, right? No, oh. not in real life, in the movie. Well, like, you need me thinking He died in the life. seven. No, he died in the seven. And then when I was watching the eight, I was just like crying all the time because like, I miss it! So she's telling me about how she was crying during the movie the whole time because of Han Solo, and then she starts crying! And... <laughs> Poor Han Solo! All the old characters are dead! It makes me so sad! Oh my goodness, I don't even know what to do. I think you're actually just homesick right now. Do you think no. maybe that's what's happening? I just like I've never seen Star you Wars. cry. I don't I, think it's Star Wars. No, I like too much Star Wars. I'm not kidding. Like, it's like my <laughs> life. I like it so much. <laughs> Have you seen the Chewbacca la mask lady? 
um, that went viral on Facebook last year. <laughs> well, like, see, even to walk, like, he didn't even appear Chewbacca. in the new one. Like, he didn't even appear in the new one. He was like for five seconds. And it's so sad because he's like, he was the funniest guy ever. He had a hand so much. It's like, oh, why? Like, why did he have to die? All right, we got through the mental breakdown. Everyone's okay <laughs> now. No more tears. We're gonna go shopping. I need to find some gifts for almost everyone in the family. Definitely Zaid. He is the most difficult child to shop for because he wants things that I've already said no to, like an iPhone or a Nintendo DS. So what do you do when you have a kid that they want something that they cannot have for Christmas? Comment below. Ideas. I would like to know them. <laughs> Just trying to eat this. Actually, I need some more of these. I took all the ones the store had. Look at these little things. They match the ones little. So Davey told me that he wants something. I said, what do you want for Christmas? And he said, something from a kiosk. And they have to approach you. You can't approach them. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk close to the kiosk. Those are really cool, but they didn't approach me, so I'm not getting it. Bath bombs look cool, but once again, they didn't approach me, so I'm not getting it. Steam iron could have been cool. Didn't approach me. Oh, wait. See? I think we found our present. <laughs> it's true. This guy said hi to me first, so he's going to sell me an iron. How much are they? We have a trigger for tomorrow, so it's the best thing you need. Okay, you tell me which one. He said that the kiosk person had to say hi to me. I couldn't go to the kiosk, so it was going to be a mystery gift. So that's what it is. So you tell me which one I want for him, the best one. Okay. Uh, that's why I need to show you how it works. Okay. All you need to do, you hold it from the side, you touch the fabric, side to side, side to side, and all the wrinkles disappear. That's it. No more wrinkles. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, let's get it. It's taking a long time. We gotta get this done. <laughs> he says, do you have two more minutes? I said, I have no more minutes. <laughs> I think the true gift, thank you, is thank the you. gift of time that I gave to you for listening to that horrible selfish. That was so fun. Baby, I will never talk to a kiosk again. <laughs> he stuck us there for like 40 minutes. That was after I already told him that I was gonna buy one. I was like, just ring it up, let's go. Infomercial, walking infomercial. It was very impressive though, I hope he likes it. I stole Davey's jacket and I think it looks Seems very to be a thing nice you're on you're doing me. lately. You have a thousand jackets and I don't have very many, That's so I just take his. They fit me pretty good though, like the arms are a little long, but I kind of like it, it's cozy. And when in doubt, still Davey's jacket. I was like, I need a long black trench coat with my outfit. Oh, Davey might have one. All right, Roberta, can you keep all the kids alive for a couple yeah. hours? She's the best babysitter, I have no doubt. They actually have a lot of fun when we go on dates now. And I'm totally confident leaving Roberta home with the kids because she has integrated so well into the family and knows how to run things, so win-win. Okay, I'm telling you where we're going. We're going on a sibling group date with all of my side, all of my siblings. I'm so excited. I think everyone's gonna be there. Nice Look, it's my favorite brother-in-law. Oh, he's so handsome. <laughs> and then we have all of my other siblings. This is why, my, you guys are like, why don't you ever show your family? It's because they act like this. <laughs> and this is my sister, and my sister, and my sister-in-law, my sister, and my brother. He has a handsome bow tie and husbands and wives. We are doing a mystery dinner and it was all his idea. So hopefully it's fun. Okay, so April and Dave are going on a date and Hal is here. So we decided we we're gonna prank them, so we're gonna use this. I don't know what, what the name it's was. It's called Surrender. Okay, we're gonna put all of that. On the bed. bed. So then they so, can't get into yeah. when they get home. Like, oh, we'll bet. Let's do this. Okay, come on. <laughs> First try failed. Okay, we are improving now. We have all this part, some of here, and we are actually thinking of stop doing it because it's gonna take us a long time and it's like so hard. But I think we're gonna do it. Oh, here we go. Something happened there. <laughs> Okay, we're all done! Look at this! Look, look how tight this is, like seriously. All the pillows are done! Wah, ah, 
Ah. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna get in trouble or you're gonna laugh. I'm not sure. Yeah, Cause if I get in trouble, technically I don't live here, so I'm fine. What do you think, guys? Oh. <laughs> what do you think? Why is it like this? Do you think they're gonna be mad? <laughs> All right, so I'm glad that I got to spend some time with my siblings because we don't get to do that very fun often. Fun date night. And so I love all of them. Fun being on a date. And it was uh, yeah, our first time doing something like that together, but I think we're gonna, you know what? I wanna talk to my siblings more, so we're gonna probably try maybe just dinner at a restaurant next time. <laughs> it was fun going on a date with you, fun seeing my siblings, and I need to get them together more often. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You guys plastic wrapped our bed? That's so stupid! Who did this? Well, Valentine and Hallie. Oh! Is that a prank? What is it? I don't know what that is. It's all the way around the mattress! Oh my gosh, Roberta. <laughs> this is my favorite plastic wrap. Get out of here. <laughs>